This is Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. Welcome to Tea Time. Um, of course, we also bring you interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ewa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshankaye. What's hey, good? Guys. Good morning. All right. I feel good, yeah. I think. I feel good, too. Mm. I feel good, too. <laughs> that didn't course. sound like you felt After good. After last night. What? Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Um, Princess Shingo, one month old engagement um, has crashed over fraud and infidelity. So, yeah, that's. I think um, her husband was arrested. Um, mm. As a husband, fiance, yeah. ex fiance <laughs> was arrested, and I like how she came out to put her disclaimer, single, straight up. Let's not get it twisted. Mm. But. Okay. <laughs> Well, I, I wanted to ask, I wish it was here, let me ask her the question. Did she know what he was doing mm. before getting engaged with him, you know? Mm. Or is there a cover-up business? I probably lied to her too about, we don't know. I see a lot of people judging her that um, you left him because they finally caught him. What if there's a cover-up business that he mm. told her, okay, this is what I do for a living, and she does not even know that he's involved in fraud? fraud you know is a two-way thing people should not just look at one side and start judging her from that Angle. other side she, she's probably had broken too that oh this is what you do and i don't know about it you know and it's not easy to deal with at break so <laughs> i just hope that she moves on and i think she has a case of depression one time like mm, that yeah, you know she has mental health and this issues. happening to her again I just hope she has enough strength to move on from it. Because if she goes through her phone and a lot of things people are saying online, is enough for her to, you know, relapse. relapse again. So I just hope she gets better and move on. I think I'd just like to focus on the issue of fraud and um, our brothers in the diaspora. Because um, basically these days now we see a lot of, um, should I call them slay kings now? <laughs> all over social media instagram posting pictures of lavish lifestyle luxurious lifestyle and then they are the motivational speakers like i'm going to bring mom far into this because um it was alleged yesterday but efcc has released a statement that um they actually apprehended mom far and he had five wristwatches worth 20 million naira now i was having a conversation with someone over the weekend and i was telling the person that look someone like monfire is legit that's the only reason why i'll be flossing all these things do you understand that was my thoughts do you understand like it's a it's a constant brew they change i'm like okay if i go to dubai and i have a lot of dollars on me and i really want to change it to their currency i think the person i'll look for is monfa do you get what i mean monfa Whatever, monfa, monfa, <laughs> potato, potato. So um, I'm saying now it makes it look like everybody out there mm -hmm. putting in the work, you're making everybody look bad. So um, we're not all scammers. I just think that's the word out there because um, back to Shingo, whatever our, our fiancé was doing, whatever, um, whether she would... I don't even would... think um, he was in, is a Nigerian. He no, he Nigerian. didn't. She even moved to his, um, is it, um, New York. New York apartment, mm -hmm. or New, New Jersey, sorry. It's New Jersey. Yeah, yeah, New Jersey. New Jer something. <laughs> she <not> new. <laughs> okay, so she even moved to his New Jersey apartment, which she left, and all of that. So whether or not she knew about it, now, the question is, um, in a relationship, I think there should be... 100% honesty. Okay. And you have to be open. Mm -hmm. Is it that you take me for who I am and be my ride or die? Mm -hmm. Or I keep lying to you and then when stuff like this happens, this is what you get. So people will say, oh, you're not loyal because they caught him now, you're leaving. Mm. It's not about being loyal. The what question is, what if he was not open from the onset? Mm. What if he was not straight up with her? Do you understand? I don't expect her to stay in that. Do you understand? So exactly. if you are getting into a relationship, I will tell you all my vices. Do you understand? I'll let you know this is what I do, this is what I do, this is what I do. So at the end of the day, if you now start having issues with it, I have the right to tell you, oi, shut up. Do you understand? Because mm. I already told you about it. But if I didn't tell you, then she has every right to well, You know, on, on this table, you've also talked about how some ladies don't even care about what... Um, their man mm -hmm. do for a living. Mm -hmm. All, women. You know, so it's but I mean it's I'm mean, just another angle. I'm not saying she did not care. It's possible that she she just wasn't bothered about 
But we pride into what he was doing. But no, when you got into an engagement, yeah, with right? somebody you should he's be about to be very open, and she's supposed to also know what she's getting into because people with that kind of lifestyle, they kind of like to get married or have people that are very close to them around that they can um, see as they ride or die. Mm. So if anything happens, they know that, okay, she will fix this, she can sort this out. I'm just saying, right? I so would also like to... I just hope do. that she gets better, like you said, because um, of her... I also like to look at it from the business um, point of view, because um, even if she knew what it was doing, mm. or even if she's aware of the whole fraudulent activity, now she has a lot of brands associated to her, right? Does she... she? Mm -hmm. uh, she's a yeah. public figure. Yeah, yeah she's she a public figure. She has a lot of brands affiliated to her. She's um, um, uh, an actress and all of mm -hmm. that. So she doesn't want to be caught up in all that mess. It's mm -hmm. like what happened with um, Toy. What was her first name? Toy Aimaku. But because of the uh, bear bear stuff, story. she changed it to mm -hmm. Abraham. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Because she doesn't want to be associated with that personality mm -hmm. so that's the business side of looking at this now now you you have an ongoing case and all of that so i have to disassociate myself you don't know even if they're still communicating mm. but just know that okay look i have a brand i mm. need to protect gotcha. and you need to, and you even be the one to now tell that you're talking about dissociating from fraud and all that it brings me to Kichi blessing i don't know if you saw it in Kichi, mm -hmm. she posted a more fast um, post on her a picture on her instagram i was saying something like trying to motivate him and say this too shall pass I'm um, see on that. Uh, to be honest, I feel like you know people see different sides of people. Mm -hmm. They are terrible people. They have people that they show their good mm -hmm. sides. Do you get? Um, let's take the case of R. Kelly and the woman that came mm -hmm. to help him. She kept on saying that I know R. Kelly as a friend. I'm not um, a child molester. A child molester. Do you get? So if she's putting it out there, maybe I don't know the relationship they have. Mm -hmm. Do you get? And it's still allegedly. I mean, it can go to court and it will come out innocent. We mm -hmm. never can tell. Mm -hmm. Do you get? No, he has admitted to two cases already. Out of four charges, he's admitted to two. Mm -hmm. And I think AFCC should tell us what exactly um, is admitting to mm -hmm. and what exactly the problem is. I mean, when the FBI came out with their story, they gave us full details. Do you get? They didn't just come out and say, okay, well, we've arrested him, but it's still ongoing. Mm -hmm. But they said he has snitched, though. Whatever the case is, I don't think, I, I feel like... Because when um, Ramali's case was out, that was the same thing um, that was put out in their press um, release that he has uh, admitted to these crimes. And when he got caught, it was another story that we're hearing that he's saying he's not, he's totally innocent of everything mm. he's accused of. So so you mm. think it's, it's, I mean, looking at Nkechi Blessing, I'm looking at the reactions that I saw, and mm. it's a case of, I mean, you're a public figure, people look at you a certain type of way and we've had cases over the weeks or even months of um, this um, right. fraudulent activities and some people trying to support them even when uh, Mali was um, at the court was it yesterday mm. you saw comments of people say leave our guy leave him alone leave him alone and it, it seems like we are beginning to see this lifestyle as the way of life mm. of people and is he a yahoo boy that's the question. <laughs> that is, well, we don't know if he's a question. boy, but there is a, an Very, ongoing case. Mm. So I don't think it is right for anyone, whether you are a celebrity or not, even if you just have a thousand followers or even hundred, mm. to come out to say they should leave him alone. He's already in court. At least what we were fighting for was for them to just, give him his human Kechi rights and not saying, hold did him. Did Kechi say they should leave Mofa? No, no, I'm, no I'm I was just, relating that oh. back to it. But when you come out openly to come and start supporting things that look like fraud, then... It just bothers on where our value is going to. That's just mm, how I feel about it. I understand it. where you're coming from, but I just want to see it from their own point of view that this is my friend, Jigget. I don't mm. want to be caught no, up I've in this. Kind of, money, have you? No, <laughs> well, I don't know. For example, like I don't. When Naramali's <laughs> case was on, when Naramali's case was on, I know DSF was like really supporting him mm. and rooting for him. And when people started coming for her that you're supporting for that, she's like, you guys should hold up. When I was in a serious mess, mm -hmm. the only person that stood by me was Naramali. Mm. And now that is in a mess, uh, mm. which is not confirmed that he did this thing, it's still allegedly, it's still an ongoing case. Why do you want me to? Even if he did, people make mistakes. And so you know, am I going to forsake you because of your mistakes? No. Okay. Everybody don't make says, mistakes. Yeah. Just nice. know you don't force a second chance. Okay, more yeah. far. This two shall pass. This now, two shall pass. Moving on to the next story. Lori Loughlin um, is among those facing new charges in U.S. college 
admission scandal. Federal prosecutors on Tuesday said they brought additional charges against 18 wealthy parents, university athletic officials, and other accused of participating in the largest U.S. college admission scam ever uncovered. They now face a new charge of conspiring to commit federal programs bribery. Um, their potential maximum prison terms have now been increased. In Lachlan's case, it jumped from 40 to 45 years. All 11 parents have previously pleaded not guilty. So I'm sure so she's sad. regretting not accepting the thing. <laughs> <thing. laughs> right. right. Um, but um, I don't know. I just feel like um, this woman has something she's holding on to mm -hmm. that gives her that confidence to still plead. Not, um, to still say I'm not guilty mm. and she's not taking the plea deal because if she had taken the plea deal, she'd probably be getting a few months in jail, mm. community service and paying a fine. Mm. But then, well, sorry, you know we mentioned this in a previous episode and some sources are saying she's actually now considering going to have plea. conversations with them if the plea deal is still on the table. Uh, well, that's a consideration, mm. but I just feel like she has something concrete, like maybe she has covered the track so well mm -hmm. that she knows that okay no matter how hard you guys try you Never have little it. or nothing mm -hmm. on Evident. me mm -hmm. do you understand so i think she has that so i don't know i don't know what she has up her sleeves but let's see how this plays out but it will be very sad if after being a stubborn she goat you know end up, <laughs> <laughs> you know end up going to jail for 45 years uh -uh. Mm -hmm. what did she do she kiss somebody uh, but then that's what that's, <laughs> that's what the law says that's what the law says <laughs> that's the years, you, know? yeah, you wow. can't be that stubborn without knowing that um okay i have a very solid lawyer mm. and then i've covered my case. Mm -hmm. so well that i know that look my lawyer has advised me that look if you take this plea deal you're going to go meanwhile you can what you can walk scot free, free. Mm -hmm. do you understand so um life is all about risk it's a 50 50 chance is mm. it that she goes to jail is it that she walks free right mm. so i think she's just um being a normal human being and taking risks because even being here right, right now is a risk. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I don't know. I just still feel sorry for her that she had taken the plea deal. I mean, by now she will know what's, what's I mean, felicity is almost done. I mean, two like, weeks is almost, almost done. <laughs> really, two weeks is almost over. Probably should have gotten a month or even, we never can tell, maybe the same two weeks. You know, so and Felicity even had a family uh, weekend with her. Um, husband and mm. child, they came to visit her, and yeah. I heard the inmates are not very happy about that because they say once you get into that place, it takes like weeks for them to start considering who and who can come and visit you. And for you, you're just doing two weeks, and the next weekend, just <laughs> like first week, you're already getting visitors and all mm. that. And like, it's, it's, I mean, like, yeah, I don't want to say preferential, but that's what it's looking like. I now. like the way she rocked her prison outfits. I mean, oh, you know. Style, you know? <laughs> that's how star do. <laughs> that's how star do, you know. Mm. But um, yeah. let's watch the space and see how this turns out for her. Yeah. Mm. All right, it's time for a very quick break. But when we come back, we'll either give you more stories or have a studio guest. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Moving on to the next story. Um, so there's been a very interesting story mm -hmm. on Bob Risky and the guy who bashed them. His or her car, and he now the <laughs> so um, that if he tracks down this guy in question and um, had, I don't know if that's an interview or a conversation, but <laughs> the guy is saying that he thought he was oh, dealing with a, a bee, <laughs> he, he thought he was dealing with a woman, and um, 
If you've not seen the video, please, I know social media can help you on this one. But um, that we have pictures of the incident, and you in the video you could see this man in question actually going into um, Bob Risky's car. car, like you know where you enter your car and someone is coming from this side to hit you. And I'm asking if you really thought that that was a woman, it's is that what you were going yeah. to do to a woman? Mm. No, but in that same interview with Daddy Free, mm. he claims that he never hit her. That you know, Bob Risky, you know, when he smashed mm -hmm. um, Ishmael's phone, mm -hmm. Ishmael, mm -hmm. in case mm -hmm. you're wondering if, what Ishmael is. Mm -hmm. So, Ishmael, in case, when he went into Ishmael's car, mm. um, all he did, we didn't see anything, we didn't see any physical assault, mm -hmm. and he claimed that he was only dragging his key mm. and his phone with her. Mm. Now, that could have Venus. But did you see when he hit yeah. her yeah, phone? Saw, and yeah. that, and her he anyway, when he hit the phone she and the phone fell, <laughs> uh, iPhone 11, that on the boards. Oh. And then <laughs> and then, you know, and the then, then and Bob Ruskin was he, 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 he wasn't even trying to I was record scared. this. I was just trying to take a picture of his plate number. No, 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 no. Now, this is another place I'm going to blame social media. Mm -hmm. Now, Bob Risky is obviously a cloud chaser, which we all know. Mm -hmm. And I'm unapologetic about this. Mm -hmm. um, we all know he's a cloud chaser. Now, this is somebody that um, he probably wanted to make a video. Yeah, you don't bash my um, no. main drover. Did you, Did you watch this guy yeah. actually admitted that he bashed yeah. yeah, I understand. Uh -huh. I'm just saying that, okay, this is also the negative effect of social media. Now, everybody wants to pull out their phone. If I want to do that, I've, I've been involved in an accident where mm. somebody ran into me. Mm -hmm. And I needed to take um, pictures of the accident scene so mm -hmm. that we could clear out of the road so mm -hmm. that when the police, police people comes. come, mm -hmm. I'll be able to show them pictures of exactly How what happened. happened. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a different case. Mm -hmm. But Brisky was actually trying to point his phone, not to the plate, but it to his to face. It was to the plate it number. It was to the plate number. I watched the video. I, I, it was I to the watched plate it number. To, it was it to the number. plate number. I watched it to from the plate way from the plate it would have gone okay well this guy i consider him a bully mm. Mm -hmm. and um if he doesn't know when to stop talking mm -hmm. if this if you actually thought this was a woman mm -hmm. is that the best way to and you actually talk? hit the woman from she, behind you get mm -hmm. you said he got to mm -hmm. and so i can beat her up no we don't know about the beating up i don't want people but did you to see them. how how he dived into he the car from the car and said there's you that got that car with that whiskey is so dramatic eh? mm -hmm. somebody was telling me that but whiskey is so dramatic that even if it was a slap mm -hmm. that this guy gave he would have said that but whiskey will slam his own head on the dashboard mm. and say see what he did to my face but the put. guy slapped Bobriski. like let's assume in your story now mm. that you're saying if the guy slapped Bobriski, Bobriski was hit his head but in that story the man slapped Bobriski. did he and if no, I, you no. just you yeah. just explain the yeah. story now yeah. and I say let's follow your story mm -hmm. even if Bobriski should overreact mm -hmm. did the guy eat him or not that's the question and when he gets caught yes i slapped him i mean that's it yeah, but um, it's, it's just wrong for you to attack yeah. anybody for the thing, it's why wrong. Did Daddy Freeze track this man down? I was down. going to go there. And then did why are they at the phone store? Extra are they about to buy another I think that's iPhone. guy's shop or something. I don't oh, know. so he's a phone dealer. It's I not don't know. You give but, iPhone Pro now. What? I mean, if you're tracking someone down, then we need to understand the aim. Purpose. Why is that like I'm confused? Maybe it's just for clouds. And then, um, Daddy Freeze, even Daddy Freeze himself is looking like a cloud tracer. Also. Yeah, that's what I'm yes. saying. That is it that he did something extraordinary? Are you trying to tell his own side of the story, which is utter rubbish right now? Mm -hmm. What exactly is the benefit of this interview to your viewers and to your free disciple movement and mm. to everything that you do? Mm. Why are you involved in this case? Mm. Especially when you claim to be a man of God, homosexuality is something you should encourage. I mean, you're supposed you to be encourage. against it. Do you understand? So I'm not saying that you should not support. I'm not saying that be violent towards um, homosexuals mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm. I'm just saying that what, as a man. Maybe he went to chase that guy to hope for a better story so he can mm. be on the other side of Bob Risky. I don't know, but you I, know, I really do not know I, I, what that I feel like that if should have just should have saved this guy and not put out that video. Because no, this guy. He's the manager, so I'm thinking of managing him. You know, this guy, this guy, this um, the balance guy. Okay. Yeah, so what I think he's the manager now. What do you because want to now that people are chasing him up and down. Which you know? people? Is that the first guy is chasing him? No, nobody. Okay, let's see now. 
I'm inviting him on tea time tomorrow anyway. If anybody's I, calling I'm, him for uh, interview, it's please. <laughs> <laughs> it's the please, because what do you mean by you were dealing with a woman? And then did you hear what the guy said? The guy said um, that is malicious damage, yeah? When they said um, he broke the phone and they said it's a man-to-man -man fight. <laughs> so it's malicious damage. that When things like that happen during a fight, it's only normal for your phone to be broken and they release the both of them on bond. Do you wow. understand? So the guy was like, that if he's asked him that, do you really believe that was malicious damage? Mm -hmm. That because he saw him smash. He, and he wasn't phone. even touching you. Or she you wasn't understand? touching you. And then the guy was like, I don't even know he's man to man. <laughs> <laughs> He's a man like me. <laughs> so that was, that was, I mean, it was a but very hilarious. That guy, is is so that guy needs to be picked I, up and interrogated. Yeah, that's Do you know why? Saying, because everybody is calling for him truly, to be If truly, if truly, he thought Bob Risky was the woman. Is that how you woman? would treat the is woman? Is that how? I mean, I, you probably want to intimidate her so that she will go. I mean, this is what they do. I was going to say, this is what they do every day. They want to intimidate every day. you. Every day. Is that so how you right oh, no, no, no. Let's even forget, let's even forget the sex now. Is that how you should treat anyone when you are wrong? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Even a man. Like, imagine he ran into me, and then I'm trying to take, like you guys said, it was the plate number of this mm. was trying, and I'm trying to get, and then you smash my phone. He would buy that phone, no? Hey. Do you understand? Like, is, that's not how to treat anyone. I've, I've, I've run into people's cars. He said there was no damage. Right, mm -hmm. and then I'm, I'm sure you, you've been a yeah, 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 witness of that. Yeah, I've run into people's cars. If I scoot to beg, he's always very humble at that I'm moment. Like, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I speak my best English, and they let me go. <laughs> Do you understand? So that's not the right way to treat mm. anyone, especially when you're wrong. Mm. It's like somebody coming down from his car, like. Are you insane? Why would you hit my car like that? And I'm like, you two, you must be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, what happens a lot yeah, of times. I, mean, I everybody think everybody's just on the yeah. complex, And I hope that since that if he's had the it's time. It's just a bully. It's a bully. Well, this one it's is not even one. Since he's had the time to go and track him down, I hope he had the time to also sit him down and, and talk some shit to him. Mm. That's if he, if he knows what to tell him. Anyway. That's how one day, one day we would, would attack... Um, he would attack the wrong person, the wrong female person. And that day... Bush me to enter <laughs> as they say that thing. Um Bush, Bush me go cut the on time. I'm telling you mm -hmm. that day. This is Bob Risky, so I, I don't think they so will. So let's wrap up serious. with one day Bush me to go catch the on town. Nah, don't worry, Sansa. Time will come and sing it. <laughs> and that's our wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on all um, this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, A Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, will go to my co anchors, Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you. Thank you for watching and see you later.